The ABB numerical relay has been started in 1995 with the series 500. Another relay from this family is RET521 transformer protection. The configuration software for this family is PCM600 and it is the topic of this training. Okay, we have seen how to add a relay in the PCM600 with different methods. Then we should config the relay. After the relay configuration and parameter settings, which are based on our application, we should load them to the relay. Okay, we have configured a very simple overcurrent function to understand the configuration concept. This relay has these protection functions. 21N is the distance protection. Let's add this function like to our config file. It is better to the next block is phase selection, which is a block to detect faults and start distance block. It requires voltage and current signals. And the next function in the diagram is 67N. We can find this function block under the overcurrent group. Let in the trigger can be the changing of the binary inputs connected to the DRADIR function block, or the trigger can be rich value, which is an analog signal and connected to the ARDIR function block. Under ID configuration, we can find the relay parameters, and under application configuration, we can find the function parameters. As mentioned, the first step of the configuration is the parameters of the analog input and outputs, which we have set. This picture shows the connection diagram for double breaker config or B type in the 1.5 CB arrangement. This relay connected to two CBs and signals. In the ordering session, we can see how to order a pre configured relay. This one is a sample ordering code. Let's see what does this code means. We have imported two relays with pre configurations, one with PCMI and the other one with template. Let's see the hardware modules of the other ones. Three phase summation function block is used to add two current signals to be used by the protection functions. Single phase signals also can be used for the disturbance report function blocks. This block is for directional measurements for distance function block. This block requires voltage and current signals to calculate default directions. Here, zone 5 is set to the reverse direction. We should check our project and diagrams for this and if it is needed we should set another zones in the reverse direction we can set the parameters of it and from here we can check the manual close and recloser signals which can enable the automatic sort by external signals if it is needed we can change this log this logic shows in permissive scheme when the cr or carrier signals and cacc signal is also active there is a trip after the code the next function we like is the delayed overcurrent with four steps we can select this block is fuse failure supervision. It requires voltage, current, CV position, disconnector position, and MCP failure signals. And there are some outputs. The signals connected to the input number 1 to 16 can initiate the three phase trip, and the inputs 17 to 32 can initiate single phase tripping for the phase 1 or phase L1. Then the next worksheet is about auto closing logic. Here, there is a trip matrix to assign signals for start and inhibit the auto recloser. We can simply route the signals to understand when the LED lights up and in the parameter settings, we can set the configuration, we can set whether the LED is latched or unlatched. Depending on the 